Hey everyone, we're still talking about water. So this book is called Get, Set, Swim by Janine Atkins. I Let's, used to swim a lot. Oh, Dylan did used to swim a lot. Let's see what this book is about. Janessa's ponytail swished as she skipped downstairs. Hurry, Mammy. This was Janessa's first year on the swim team and her first meet at the rival team's pool. At the door, Mimi tucked a box in her purse and pitched her scarf together against the cold because it was super cold. Je Janessa's raced her brother Luis down the street. What are you doing? Mama said, stick together. Well, they're supposed to be together because they're on the street. That's important. At the community center, Janessa climbed onto the bus and sat with Anna. When Luis tried to balance the seat behind him, Mammy settled him down by ta talking about when she had been a girl in Puerto Rico. Our house was so close to the ocean that if it stood on stilts, that it used to stand on stilts. We used to slide down the grassy hills on palm trees, and the sky was very blue. Like what? She pointed to the sky out the window. No, this sky isn't blue enough. Janessa was tired of the dreamy way Mimi spoke about the blue sky and sea that seemed to stretch forever. She pressed closer to the older girls in the seat ahead of her. Weston won by eight points last time. We never meet when meets away from home. And poor, stop. In Puerto Rico, there was a green lizards that clung wherever they bite. We girls used to hang them from our ears. Luis put his thumbs to his earlobes and wagged, wagged his fingers like lizards. Janessa turned to the window thinking about how her mother had never learned to swim. Mammy had made sure that Luis got swimming lessons, but it took more than dreams to win races. Jan Janessa was scared. How could she compete with the lucky girls who lived in these houses? As the space between the houses widened, so did the space inside Janessa. So she's nervous that she's not going to be able to win her race. Let's see. The bus stopped at the Weston School. Mammy kissed the top of Janessa's head. She smiled as if they were breathing in a garden. Te amo, Mommy said, I love you too. In the locker room, the girls put on their swimsuits and tucked their ponytails into their caps. They stretched the hallways. Coach said, don't worry because the pool here is bigger. Everyone is equal in the water. The pool probably isn't broken half in the winter. There are more girls on this team. Just keep your eyes on where you're going. Now get in there and win. The first race was set for the older swimmers. The water surface broke with thundering dives. Janessa cheered. It was hard to tell one girl from the other until they turned. Then Janessa recognized the way that Nicole pulled her knees to the side before whipping them out. She sped ahead and rammed triumphantly into the wall. I mean, she won. Soon it was Janessa's turn to stand on the edge of the pool between the two girls from the other team. They, <clears throat> the overhead lights buzzed. The pool hummed. Janessa rocked from toe to heel. She tried to breathe long and deep into her belly the way Coach had taught her. Here, Mammy waved and Lewis wagged his fingers like lizards. Janessa's feet pressed on the platform. Get ready. Get set. Go. The girls dive. The quiet, still water turned frothy and loud. Water streamed off Janessa's goggles and rushed past her ears. She stretched her arms out as long as Mammy did when she talked about the great white sea. Wide sea. Then Janessa caught the sight of the girls in the next lane moving ahead. Janessa gulped in some water. Her tired legs sank, and she kicked hard until one finger touched the end of the pool. She splashed up and gasped for air. Great race. You lost a few seconds at the end when you looked to the side. Mamie was there hugging her before Janessa could wa warm herself. She said, I'm so proud of you. Janessa pulled on a sweatshirt to watch more races. As the afternoon wore on, it became clear they were going to lose the meet. Janessa cheered even louder and hugged her friends harder. When it was time for her last time to swim, Janessa tried to fill herself with calming air. She kept talk taking quick, nervous breaths. She shifted her weight from one foot to the other, and she wondered if she could swim fast enough to win. Janessa rose to her toes. She curled her arms like a wave. You can do it! <clears throat> she sped ahead fast, faster, not only for her and her team, but for Mammy, too. She didn't look back. She didn't look to the side. Janessa swam with all her strength until her mother's dreams for her. Then her fingers tapped the wall. Joyful girls pulled Janessa from the pool crying, you won, you won. So she actually did win the race. When the meet was over, the girls changed and dried their hair. Mamie gave Jessa, Janessa a box as they stepped outdoors. Gracias, Janessa laughed as she pulled the earrings shaped like lizards. She slipped them out and danced a little salsa to make her earrings wiggle.
Let's go, Janessa. The sky turned a brighter blue. The team would win another time. Janessa knew. She spun around to say, we'll be back. So she won her race because she focused and she had fun in the water. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.